Yes, this is a video review that I'm doing on a graphic novel. It is a uh, it is an indie's comic book uh, series that was collected into a graphic novel called Ajala, a series of adventures, and um, it is put out by Exmoor Studios. And the writers and the artists of the books are Garrett Harris, Olay, McGee, and Barna. I am in this review. I just want to do a quick review about the book, but I do want to speak on the incredibly piss poor customer service that I received uh, uh, with the purchasing um, of this book. This is a soft cover book, which is what which is what I did not order. Um, it said hardcover uh, hardcover book on their website, and they sent me a soft cover, and I think it was done on purpose. Because of, the, because of uh, the whole situation with PayPal. But uh, the artwork looks nice. Um, uh, front and back looks nice. And uh, I'll have to get into it some other time. But uh, the person I want to speak on is uh, a Robert Garrett. Who is the writer and the guy that I ordered the graphic novel from. Here are some of his pictures. Um, it, this is a Spanish uh, fella. It's not him. That's Robert Garrett. I'm on his Facebook now. Ah, here we go. Um, I sent this guy. I ordered the book. I'm going to start from the beginning. I ordered the book from him uh, in the very early part of June. And... Uh, I waited for a long time and then I contacted him asking him, you know, well, where's the book at? You know, didn't have an attitude with him or nothing. And he tells me he's been busy. And I, I just shot up and was getting ready to be, I, I was almost irate right there. He was pretty much busy and he didn't have time. He said he'd get back to it when he can't, you know, which I thought was complete horse shit. So I asked this asshole, well, where, where, where's the tracking at? You know, the post office gives out free tracking to, you know, stuff like this. You know, this is like, this is medium weight. But, you know, I'm quite sure because he runs a business that he's going to get tracking for his customers, which wasn't the fucking case with him. Um, and uh, I, he never responded. He didn't respond to the second or the third email. So I had no choice but to bring to PayPal's attention. And um, they contacted his ass, and that's when he sent the, uh, the graphic novel to me by FedEx. Now, I don't want to be uh, I don't want to be cruel and show his address, but I will say that this book came from uh, somewhere on the East Coast, New York. I want to say probably New York and New Jersey. And anyway, uh, uh you know, I don't have a problem supporting the indies comic book uh, scene. I, I I don't have I, I do I do want to support the little guy. Uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of indies characters that are in the indie circuit that are just really cool, very interesting. You know, it's not always about the big two, Marvel and DC. And um, people like him are gonna ruin it. I mean, they really are. Um, the customer service just uh, with him just absolutely fucking sucked. Um, I had to get PayPal to launch an investigation on his ass, and um, I'm, it's really sad they had to come to this. Um, I also ordered a hardcover book from him, like I had mentioned earlier in the video, and um, they sent me a soft cover, and I think he did it on purpose, you know, uh, with his bitch ass. Because I had to complain on him to PayPal because he wouldn't send my shit, you know. Um, but I he won't he won't get a dime from me again. Um, I will not do business with them anymore, Exmoor Studios or Robert Garrett, because uh, they don't know how to conduct business. Specifically him, I can't speak for the others. But uh, if he's going to be the one conducting business, they've lost me as a customer. Because as of right now, they won't get a dime of my money again. You know, um, you delay my order and then you blatantly send me the wrong version of the fucking book. Okay. You know, um, I hope $20 was worth it, you piece of shit. 
um, and uh, I'm just warning other customers that may order from them. Hold on, this is something else I need to show you. This is their website, Exmor Studios. Uh, as you can see, the book cost fifteen dollars, and it was five dollars of shipping and handling. Um, now it said this was a hardcover book, and I searched their website thoroughly all this evening. And what Robert Garrett has gotten, he, he's either done it himself or he got one of his employees to do it. But they totally uh, got rid of the hardcover book, you know, because they knew it was false advertisement. Because uh, they didn't send me uh, the hardcover book I asked for. So either they didn't have it or it was an error on their on their part. I didn't get no apology. I just got the book in the mail by FedEx yesterday morning and was asked to sign by uh, a FedEx delivery carrier. Uh, so I'm just warning everybody. Uh, Exmoor Studios uh, got a snake in the grass working for them. Name Robert Garrett, and I'd watch out for him. I, I just wouldn't do business with him. You know, especially if he's doing shit like this. Once again, this is the name of the company that put it out, and this is their website, uh, Exmoor Studios. This is Robert Garrett's Facebook. Um, that's who he looks like. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm done. You know, I'm just, again, this is a warning. Um, you won't. You do business with these guys, and it's Robert Garrett. You're gonna. You're not gonna get the hardcover book you asked for, and you're not gonna get uh, a tracking information from his ass either. You're gonna be waiting to the end of the month. Excuse me. You're gonna be waiting to the end of the month to get your stuff if you get it at all. You know, like I said, I probably wouldn't have got it if I didn't have uh, contact uh, PayPal and have PayPal threaten his ass. So, this is just a warning, um, and, and a uh, and, and a and a small review about the book. Yes, the book looks nice. Uh, it's not what I wanted. It's a soft cover, not a hard cover. Um, and like I said, this motherfucker doesn't send shit on time. You know, you have to get PayPal to threaten them, and it's really sad. But anyway, this is me. I've said all of I'm going to say about this piece of shit. And I'm just warning everybody else, do not do business with Exmoor Studios uh, if you're going to be dealing with uh, Robert Garrett because he doesn't know how to handle business. Um, I don't give a, a two shakes of a fat rat's ass about you being too busy. The customer comes uh, first, motherfucker. And I wasn't um, uh, disrespectful to him in the beginning. You know, but when I asked him for tracking, he kept blowing me off. You know, Robert Garrett, along with Jeffrey Thorne, are two of the biggest piece of shit, uh, shits working in the comic book industry. And they both had to be brothers. And then you wonder why the black community is still supporting the big two and not supporting your cheap ass. You're a cheapskate. You're a con artist. You look like you do drugs. Just like in every picture you have on Facebook. And uh, you won't be getting my business again. Fuck you, dude. I'm out, y'all. Do not trust this guy. He's not to be trusted. Peace.